we've been meeting with uh, the redevelopment agency. I personally met with Rocky and the was writing a bid and gave him our recommendations uh, for the business of the whole district that uh, the members should be extended to seven members and not five in order to give it more presentation and also to include members of the district that are, that are uh, within the big valley. For example, the Bureau of Avenue Mitchell. Uh, uh, Roslyn said she would share that with uh, our city manager and she did it. Uh, also, um, pending, we have another workshop on physical service and work ethics with San Diego State University that we're still trying to schedule in for this next semester. Also, we're working with the current uh, Valley Regional Occupational Programs who are being threatened because of the state budget to have these programs act. And therefore, they have uh, asked for our help, and we're sitting on an advisory committee because we do a lot of work with IPRP and the different classes that they, that they have for people that are changing careers or losing their job and moving into something else. Uh, they also help, IPRP also is still helping with the uh, annual Magachi festivals and always uh, participates with the city of New Mexico. So we feel that that's what we can do is to help them. Uh, I have a meeting scheduled for Monday at 10 a.m. at Ryan Sika, the Dean of the Extended Campuses of Imperial Valley College. There is a grant program that they have called Small Business Funding through Imperial Valley College. And so once we meet um, and discuss it, I will report back in our next report what that was about and how we can meet Also, um, I'm the chairperson of the 50th anniversary for San Diego State University. Uh, the 2009 year of celebration. Uh, Roberta Burns, the former chief executive officer of the Carroll County, is my co-chair. Because I'm on the campus now, more often than not, um, de they've developed a, a business uh, organization of students. And so with the help of Lydia Carrasca from Robin Bank and Joe Orlando from Wells Fargo uh, Bank and Veronica Company from Wells Fargo Home Mortgage, and um, Josh Metcalf, who is also the president of the Imperial Valley Joint Chambers of Commerce, he's now an accountant for Hutchinson and Lutton. We're creating an advisory committee for these students, just for them to network and to, and to meet people in business, people in accounting. They don't have an accounting major at San Diego State University in Imperial Valley Campus, and more than likely they will not have a major. They just can't afford another major. But they do have the major in international business. And therefore, under that umbrella, this club is being organized. They're going to have one member sit on our board of directors so that um, they can start participating <coughs> before they graduate and get into the field. Maybe they say they don't like to but, um, but anyway, um, um, members of the board will be participating in that. We're meeting with Dr. Richard Martin, who is the business professor in charge of that department, who's helping organize. Right now, that's all I can tell you. We're very busy. Um, the, fact, the bad news is that we haven't been able to um, uh, recruit new membership because of the economy uh, and because the businesses aren't open. Although today there was a, there was a good attorney today that we were unaware of, but, but I'll make sure to get with Francisco and we'll go with them tomorrow and see what we can come up with and, and help them out. Although I was by here tonight and they're packed. They were packed with the cars every day. Um, so we'll go together and visit. That's what we're doing. Uh, the other thing is that um, most of our members are behind on their dues, anywhere from, from two to three months. And we want to be the last to be harassing them for, for um, payment. So we're, we're, we're giving them a break. And, and in some cases, we pass them over the membership because we're all in this together. And if we can help them in that way, um, um, then, then so be it. Um, most of the businesses that can afford, us, can afford to participate are those that have big contracts and are a big business. But the mom and pops are having a hard time, and we understand that. So we try to help them as we can. Um, we've been consulting with them and trying to help them in how to promote, but um, so we hit a we get a wall, and so what we were discussing amongst the board is that maybe if we can get the 
what we call the Downtown Business Committee or the Bid Advisory Board, plus the Economic Development Commission, plus the Chamber, to make one big solid, uh, to put a conference together or, or a big workshop together so that all these mom and pop can come in and share what their problems are and, and, and discuss the issues and, and tell them why they can't do this and why you can do this. And if they want to, if they have a beef with the city of Mexico, well, let's hear it there. And we can tell you why you don't understand what the process is and it's not a deep work to make work the way it is. And so uh, we haven't heard Francisco because he's been really busy, but we uh, plan to and then um, <coughs> Uh, 
Uh, and 